Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> and I know it's a little early for Christmas, but actually it's a lot closer than you might think because a lot of brands are releasing some gingerbread flavored stuff. So we have some gingerbread flavored stuff we're gonna try for you today. We got gingerbread Oreos, gingerbread Peeps, and of course, you may have already seen this one, we've got gingerbread snapped Mountain Dew. Howdy fellow foodie friends, who's your daddy here along with? Who's your mama? <laughs> yeah, this is my wife. And today we are celebrating Christmas a little early with some special gingerbread flavored things. Now before we get started, if you like food reviews and food challenges and snack tastings, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell. That way you're notified every time I post a new video and that way you can be part of the Who's Your Daddy family. <laughs> so uh, we've got three different gingerbread flavored things. Which one do you want to try first? Mm, the Oreos. Oreos, okay. So. These gingerbread Oreos are gingerbread flavored cookies along with cream with crunchy sugar crystals. Yum. Sounds good. Now, just to be clear, um, I love gingerbread, but you? I just tolerate it. <laughs> so I figured it might give you a better idea <laughs> with Who's Your Mama along with me to, since she's not as big of a fan of gingerbread, might give you a better idea of how good these things really are. So. We also are both big fans of Oreos, so I've got high hopes for these. Here's one for you. Thank you. And so these actually look pretty dark. They're like dark brown. And you, you can see little sugar crystals in them, like little red dots. Christmassy. Mine has a Christmas yeah, tree. Christmassy designs on them. Yeah, look at that. Cool. All right, here we go. Cheers. What? Very gingerbready. Yeah. It's like the flavor of gingerbread, but the texture of an Oreo. It's got the same normal Oreo texture. The cream doesn't taste like it's flavored anything special, mm -hmm. though, does it? It doesn't. But you can uh, taste those little sugar crystals. That's, that's pretty good. Little I like crunchies. It. I feel like this should be more of a fall flavor than a Christmas flavor. I guess it's a Christmas flavor because you make... Um, Houses out of them, gingerbread houses. Yeah, it does remind me of gingerbread houses. And I always love the smell of gingerbread when it's making, because both my mom and my grandmother used to help us when I was little to make gingerbread houses, like from scratch, real ones, not the little graham cracker ones. Like we would bake the gingerbread and it smelled so good, but it was always really hard. <laughs> we never did that. It was fun, but the real gingerbread houses are meant for decoration. They're not really meant to eat. Even though you technically can, the texture's not great. This texture is really good. It's more along the lines of it like a ginger snap with cream filling with sugar. Yep. That is really good. But super good. The way we do around here, we don't eat Oreos just plain. We also have to try them with milk. So hold on, let me grab some milk. Okay, here we go. So if you're not eating Oreos with milk, you're doing something wrong. And here we go. Chip it and dip it. I take a bite and then I take a drink of milk. It's better than eating a soggy cookie. Or an alternative way, if you don't want to dip it, this is my favorite way to eat an Oreo. You put it in your mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My mouth isn't big enough, and I would get a headache from shaking my head around. <laughs> mm, those are really, really good. I like those. Now, typically, neither one of us are big fans of non-chocolate Oreos as much as we are regular chocolate Oreos. And the fact that these are so good and they don't have any chocolate in them, I think that's saying a lot. Mm -hmm. I think they're right up there with all the chocolate Oreos, too. Yes. So, flavor rating. On a scale of 1 to 10, what'd you give it? 10. 10? You give them a 10? I think, yeah, they're pretty close. I would give them about a 9.5. They are definitely one of my favorites. I don't, know, I don't know if I would say they're my absolute favorite, but they're really, really good. Yes. They're not my favorite. So they are officially <laughs> endorsed by Who's Your Daddy and Who's Your Mama. <laughs> All right, but we have two other gingerbread items to try. So I saw these in the store. These are gingerbread peeps. Now, I thought it would just be a great thing to try here because I've never seen them before. I haven't heard anything about them. I just happened to see them at Big Lots. They were only a dollar. And I think peeps are poops. 
Well, these are the color of poop. You could call them gingerbread poops, but I think they're cute. They're little, little gingerbread men. Now, most people, when they eat gingerbread men or gummy bears or anything, they always bite the head off first. I like to be a little contrarian. I bite the bottom off first. He bites the bottom. <laughs> I don't taste any gingerbread. I taste ginger. Do you, are they actually flavored ginger? I thought they were. It just says natural and artificial flavors, but... Tastes like a marshmallow. Maybe because we just ate the gingerbread Oreos. <laughs> Look at their poor faces. They're like way off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I didn't even realize that those were supposed to be face. <laughs> They're screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that is supposed to be a face. Yeah. That's, that's hilarious. It's a little, don't eat me. Help. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little lopsided. I think they just taste pretty much like regular peaks. If there's a ginger flavor, it's real muted. It's mm -hmm. it's just like a peak. It does say gingerbread flavored. Hmm. Yuck. Me no likey. I think they're all right, but they are very much like other standard peaks. The, the gingerbread flavor is not strong, but if you like other peaks, like if you're a peak fan, I think you'll like these. If you're not a peak fan, you won't like these. But I like them okay. I've kind of... Um, gone back and forth with peaks. When I was a kid, I loved them. When I got older, I didn't. And now I'm starting to enjoy them again. They're not my favorite, but I'd say I'd give them about a seven. Uh, three. Okay. I didn't like peeps as a kid, and I don't like them now. <laughs> All right, so finally, this is the strangest thing. You may have already seen these in the, this in the store. I'm not sure what to expect with this, but it's gingerbread snapped Mountain Dew. It sounds really strange, but we'll see. Okay, so I got a nice, pretty little festive Christmas mug here that we can see the color. Oh, it's clear. I thought it was going to be tinted brown or something. <laughs> well, it's ginger. Look at the color of that. Yeah, I guess so. All right. It smells like gingerbread. That's weird. I think it smells like Mountain Dew. <clears throat> well, we are both big fans of Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. And... As strange as it seems, I have a hard time believing that Mountain Dew would actually market this and sell it if it wasn't good. So, I don't know. Here we go. Cheers. You know what? It's actually not bad. <laughs> it's really not bad. That's surprising. It kind of reminds me of ginger ale a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. When I was young, um, we weren't allowed to have soda unless we went to my grandma's house for like Thanksgiving or Christmas. And she always had ginger ale, and I thought it was the most disgusting thing ever. But my parents were like, woohoo, soda! <laughs> but the Mountain Dew flavor comes through too, doesn't it? Yeah, That's I weird. think so. It almost tastes mm -hmm. like you mix ginger ale with Mountain Dew. It's, it's pretty good. I like it. Isn't that the whole premise of it? Well, I guess. Dew with a blast of artificial gingerbread flavor. There yeah. you go. So something about gingerbread and ginger, I mean... It makes you think of the holidays, makes you think of Christmas. It's very festive. I don't know that this is something I would drink all the time. I don't really drink soda that much, but to have it like at a Christmas party or something, I think it's pretty good. I like it. What do you think? It's just okay. Okay, so It's on... probably my least favorite of all Mountain Dews. Really? Yeah. Oh. I, I'd say it probably ranks in the middle for me somewhere. My absolute favorite Mountain Dew is that Baja Flash, the pineapple and coconut flavor. Oh. Or was it just coconut? Mm. And no, I think it was just coconut, but it was so good. I will leave a, a link to that video down in the description below if you want to check that out. After you get done watching this, what's your favorite flavor of Mountain Dew? Just regular Mountain Dew. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite flavor of Mountain Dew is because they've got a ton. So this one, I think, like I said, I think it ranks somewhere in the middle. On a scale of one to 10, what would you give it? Mm, two. Two? I told you it's my least favorite Mountain Dew. But it's still Mountain Dew. It's still good. Like, my least favorite Mountain Dew probably still gets like a six. I would say this one is just over the threshold of being endorsed because I like it. So that means it is an eight. It is officially endorsed by Hoosier Daddy. <laughs> just barely, though. I like it partly because of the novelty of it, too. But, it, I mean, it, it's, it's not terrible. Um, I would definitely like for you guys to try it and let me know what you think of it because I think it's worth trying. But... I'm assuming that it's only going to be for a limited time, which okay. <laughs> I don't think it would do well in the long run. But around the holidays, I think I think it's something good. Like, they have, like, cranberry Sprite. 
things like that that they are not cranberries, right? Cranberry Sierra Mist. Oh, okay. Um, but Isn't things not the same thing. Pretty much, mm -hmm. but they release things like that um, for the holidays. So I think this is a fun holiday flavor to try like once a year. So anyway, so that was our gingerbread review. All these gingerbread products. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. Also, uh, make sure you are subscribed as well. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything else you think I should review or any other food challenges I should do. We hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah. Hey, I have a great idea. Gingerbread Oreo and gingerbread Mountain Dew. Okay. I gotta try. Here we go. That is good. No, it's not. The best of both worlds. <laughs> I think Oreos dipped in things are just always better. I disagree with just that. Just because it makes it a better texture. Nope, it makes it a soggy texture. Soggy mm. with nasty gingerbread. Dip your Oreos in Mountain Dew. That's good. <laughs> 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 <Okay>. <laughs> um.